to this python programming course in this session we are going to study the python data types so your computer is based or performs the operation based on the data so computer is a data processing device where it stores the data in its memory and processes at as per the instructions given to it data is a representation of facts about certain object so for example if you consider the object as an as a car so car has a different features different uh, attributes like his model number model name color of car what kind of engine it is there for the car case okay. likewise different attributes are related to any object so those attributes are nothing but the data so data type is defined as it is a repres it represents a kind of value that is going to store in a variable and it also determines what kind of operation we can perform on it so it defines the what kind of value we are going to store and the operations we can perform on the data type so the python data types are used to define the type of variable type of variable means what kind of value we are going to store in a variable so the the data stored in a memory can be of many types for example a person's age is stored in numeric value and his address is stored as alphanumeric characters so depending on the attribute type we can have different data types in the python in most of the programming language depending on the data we have different uh, data type we have different data types so these are the data types available in python first is the numeric data type which holds the numeric values so there are three types of numeric data types first is integer which stores whole numbers second one is float which stores the real numbers with decimal point and third one is the complex number second data type is a string string holds the sequence of characters and str is used as a to define the strings then sequence is the third data type where we have where which holds the collection of items multiple different types of values we can store in it so list and tuple are the sequence data types next one is the mapping data type where the dictionary is the mapping data type which holds the data in key value pair form next data type is boolean which holds the value either true or false uh, which is defined by bool data type and set is last data type in the python which holds the collection of items but those items should be unique so set and frozen set are the set data type so first we'll see numeric data type in a numeric data type as we have seen three kinds of uh, numeric data types are there integer floating point number and complex number so first is integer data type integer numeric data type which holds the only integer values only numbers without decimal point and there is no limit on the size of integers that we are going to store in a variable so if you have studied the c programming language or c++ java programming language where we have in in for integer data type it is again segregated as short integer integer long integer long long integer so that is depends on what size of integer variable we are going to store into that uh, data type but there is no such kind in the python data type where uh, using just integer data type we can store any size data on in a variable so this is the example where var1 equals to 1 means 1 is a integer value that we are going to store in a var1 variable similarly the this is uh, the var1 equals to 1 is the 
uh, example of decimal integers we can have non decimal integers also uh, decimal is the uh, values where we have base as a 10 where we can have 0 to 9 total 10 digits are there to represent a number we similarly we have other non decimal integers are there which includes binary numbers octal numbers and hexadecimal numbers so binary means 2 so the base for binary integer is 2 so which holds only two values either 0 or 1 then octal has the base 8 which has the com digits ranges from 0 to 7 so octal numbers are the combination of 0 to 7 digits and last one is hexadecimal numbers the hexadecimal numbers the base is 16 which holds the values of from 0 to 16 0 to uh, 9 digits and a to f that is characters the hexadecimal digits can hold so binary if you want to represent binary number in a python that binary binary number should proceed with either 0 b small b or 0 capital b then using which you can represent a binary number similarly octal number is preceded with 0 small o or 0 capital o and hexadecimal number is preceded with 0 small x or 0 capital x so we'll see the example based on it to open the python shell you type the search for the python you will see this particular option that is python which version you have installed you will see the command prompt for it just click on it and open the shell now i will take one variable as a i will assign numeric value to it 10 so if i if i want to print it it will show me the 10 value it includes same way i can have any number so this is a python shell it is an interactive shell whatever the value we are going to provide it it will give you, give us the output it is a python interpreter and uh, for binary and hexadecimal number so it should proceed with 0 b i know that the binary of 5 is 101 so 0 b 0 1 0 1 so it will give me the answer as decimal digit as 5 okay if i want to get the binary of 5 i'll provide the variable as 5 so it will give me the same value that is 0 b 1 0 1 so bin is the function which will give me the binary of any number so this is a binary number system that number should proceed with either 0 small b or 0 capital b next we have octal number system that should proceed with 0 small o or capital o here i'll give the value as 0 1 2 which is a uh, decimal uh, of oct sorry octal of 10 so we'll get the value as 10 10 is the decimal for 0 1 2 octal number then next example for hexadecimal number for hexadecimal number you can use either small x or capital x so 0 x i'll use here f i know that f is the hexadecimal of 15 so i'll i'll get the answer as 15 so in this way you can represent the integer data type simple integers and uh, non-decimal integers next data type is floating point numbers so floating point numbers are used to represent real numbers and holds the floating decimal points it is represented by float uh, data type the float class is there to represent the floating point numbers then the decimal points we have are up to 15 decimals so it the result is accurate up to 15 decimals 
to specify the scientific notation we can use either small e or capital e is added at the end of float number so this small e and capital e can be used for it so we'll see the example so to represent the floating point number i'll take another variable as 23.467 so if i print the p i'll get the same result as 23.4567 i can represent this same number using scientific notation 4567 either i can use small e or capital e i want up to three digits so i'll get this as e raised to e e3 means 10 raised to 3 it get multiplied by 10 raised to 3 or if i provide same value with negative index so i'll get this result so either you can use small e or capital e to represent it in scientific notations you will get the same result so this is the floating point number then next data type is a complex number we can have a complex numbers in the python so there are two types uh, two uh, attributes in a complex number first is a real part and second is the imaginary part and that is separated by using plus or minus sign the imaginary part is suffixed by j which is a imaginary number complex number in python is represented as x plus yj where x is a real part and y is the imaginary part and the uh, it is represented by complex data type so the type of that number is a complex and the class which is used to represent it is a complex so in this example we have bar 4 equals to 10 plus 3j so 10 plus 3j is a complex number in which 10 is a real part and 3 is an imaginary part so we can represent that in python so plus j so this is a complex number in python so as we have seen that when we have studied the features of python programming language that python is a dynamically typed programming language where it the data type of the variable is defined and by what kind of value you have assigned to it so when we are declaring any kind of variable in python we are not specifying it with the data type so here just these examples we have seen where the values are represented as a equals to 10 means we have not specified like in c programming we are writing the same variable as integer int a equals to 10 likewise we are representing it we are not preceded with our variable name with the data type so now how you can get the data type in python what kind of value is there in variable a so you can re get that value by using a type function so we have one type function in python suppose i want to get the data type of variable a i'll just write one function i will call one function type and i'll provide the variable name of it so i'll get the which is the or what is the data type of variable a so here i'll get that class int means the data type of variable a is int suppose i'll assign x equals to minus 8j so this is a complex number so if i want to get the data type of it type of x here i will get the type of x as complex so in this way you can get the data type of any variable so this is the numeric data types uh, integer float and complex number these numeric data types are immutable means we cannot change the uh, values of it Im meaning of immutable but later on in the we can create the variable 
same variable again and we can assign another value to it another integer value we can assign but the reference for that variable is a different means different reference that is object is created for those variables so integer float and complex numbers are the immutable data types the next data type is a boolean data type which is represented by one of the value that is either true or false true means one and zero means false you can represent it like var2 equals to true where t is capital and in false f is capital so you can you can represent these boolean data types uh, by assigning value either true or false so uh, this we have seen to get the type of any variable we use type function so using type function pass the variable name or the data you can retrieve the data type of variable the next data type is string data type so string is a sequence of one or more unicode characters that is enclosed in single quote double quote or triple quote marks and python strings are also immutable so it is when you create when you assign another string to a same string variable it will create a different reference to it string variable uh, is a non numeric data type so we cannot perform arithmetic operations on it but other operations we can perform like slicing concatenating or uh, these operations we can perform on the string so str is the class which is used to define the string data type uh, variables and which defines a number of useful methods are there for string processing we'll see those functions in later part of this course so right now just remember that string is a sequence of unicode characters and which is enclosed in either single quote double quote or triple quote and strings are also immutable uh, and concatenation and slicing like functions we can perf uh, operate on the string so we'll see the example of string suppose i want to store my name in a variable so i can include it in single quote okay. so i have given my name so if i print it name it will give me the value as name suppose i want to concatenate it with my surname so i can have name plus is used to concatenate the string so it is concatenating so my result is sheetal dinde or if i want to just retrieve some portion of this particular name data so if i want to retrieve just first two characters so i can use slicing for that numbers of first two character so s h r the first two characters of it so similarly we can perform more operations on string that will study in later part of this course in detail so remember either we can include in enclosed it in single quote or double quote string variables then next data type is a sequence data type where we have two sequence types list and tuple lists are most versatile compound data type where it is an ordered collection of similar or different types of items separated by comma and these are enclosed in a square brackets so python list can contain collection of elements which is of different types same types or different types python list is an object of list class and python lists are mutable means there is no separate reference is created for when you update particular list it holds the data in the same variable of same reference 
the value stored in a python list can be accessed using slice operation with indices starting with zero beginning of the list and working their way to the end index is minus one so these are the operations we can perform on the python list more we will study in the later part of this course in detail for the list so i'll show the example how list works so if i store these values in the list so these are the same kind of values i can store into the list so if i print this value of l it gives me the value as 1 2 3 4 so this is the list example which holds the similar kind of values i can have another list in which i can store the data of different types so i can have number data i can have string data i can have floating point data i can have complex number okay so i can hold any kind of data into the list so l2 contains the data of different types so list is a collection of ordered collection of elements where it can hold similar kind of data as well as different kinds of data so you can access any value from it by using indices so if i want to access the element of second index so i'll get the 30.56 if i want to retrieve the elements of l1 that is l ranges from index 1 to index 3 so i'll get the values as 2 and 3 so list slicing list indexing we can have we can add more elements into it we can delete the elements from the list we can perform all the operations on it in detail we'll see this in the later part of this course so this is the list data type then we have tuple data type in tuple data type this is also ordered collection of elements we can which can hold similar or different kinds of values and these are separated by comma and these are represented in round brackets tuples are represented in round bracket uh, tuple is an object of tuple class to form a tuple use parenthesis is optional if the data is represented as separated by comma by default it is considered as a tuple and tuple is immutable data type so it is also a read only data type we cannot perform addition uh, we cannot add values in it we cannot delete the values from tuple so this is the difference between list and tuple list are mutable and tuples are immutable so we'll see the example of tuple so tuple t which is in round brackets so i can have any kind of data in tuple i can have list another list in it another tuple in it so this is a tuple t suppose i want to retrieve that list so that list is present at fifth index in the tuple so i can access like t of 5 i'll get the list in the tuple so list slicing list sorry tuple slicing tuple indexing we can perform but i cannot add new values into the tuple or i cannot delete the values from the tuple so tuples are the read only data type the next is the mapping data type that is dictionary so python dictionary is an ordered collection of items it stores elements in key value pair the pair are separated by comma and these are placed inside the curly brackets to establish mapping between key and value 
द सेमिकोलन इज यूज एज अ सेपरेटर अ डिक्शनरी की कैन बी ऑलमोस्ट एनी पाइथॉन टाइप बट यूजली वी यूज द नंबर्स एंड स्ट्रिंग्स वैल्यूज ऑन द अदर हैंड कैन बी एनी आर्बिट्ररी पाइथॉन ऑब्जेक्ट डिक्शनरी इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट दैट ऑफ डिक्ट क्लास सो डिक्ट इज यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट द डिक्शनरी वैल्यू कैन बी असाइंड एंड एक्सेस्ड यूजिंग स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट्स सो एंड डिक्शनरीज आर ऑल्सो म्यूटेबल डेटा टाइप सो वील सी द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डिक्शनरी सो इफ आई रिप्रेजेंट डिक्शनरी डी यूजिंग दिस आई कैन सी द टाइप ऑफ दिस डी दिस इज एन एम टी डिक्शनरी आई कैन सी द टाइप ऑफ इट एज डिक्ट सो आई कैन स्टोर मोर वैल्यूज इन इट सो डी ऑफ आई हैव टू प्रोवाइड द की वैल्यू पेर सो की नेम एज इक्वल्स टू सो दिस इज सो इफ आई कॉल द ऑब्जेक्ट डी ऑफ डिक्शनरी इट शोज दैट वन वैल्यू इज स्टोर्ड इन इट दैट इज नेम इज द की एंड शीतल इज द वैल्यू असाइन टू दैट नेम और आई कैन क्रिएट अनादर डिक्शनरी विच होल्ड्स द वैल्यूज वन विच स्टोर्स द वन then two stores the two likewise i can have the dictionary which contains key and value pair so one numeric is the key and one in string is an value is a value so likewise i can create dictionary dictionaries are mutable one and last data type is set data type so set is a python implementation of set as defined in mathematics same operations we can perform on the data set is an unordered collection of unique items if you try to add uh, duplicate elements in it when you print that particular set it will remove all those values it it just holds only unique values in it set is a defined by values separated by comma inside the curly braces a uh, curly brace is used to represent dictionary as well as set but in dictionary we have key value pair that is not for the set we, it just holds the uh, data items in the set its collection may not follow the same order in which they are entered the position of items is optimized by python to perform operations over set as defined in mathematics so sequence is not uh, defined for the set data type set can store only immutable objects such as number integer float complex boolean string or tuple even if a set does not allow mutable items the set itself is a mutable so in set we can store only immutable objects but the set itself is a mutable means we can add values in it we can delete the values from the set we can we can we can perform manipulation operations on the set and uh, we have different functions related to perform these operations as well as we have different operators to perform these operations on set so we'll see the example how we can define this set so set s1 curly braces are used to define the set so it holds only static uh, uh, sorry it holds only mutable data types so if i try to print the s1 so here you can see that the s s is a string that i have given at position 5 but when i print it that ss is uh, is presented at at the end so the sequence may change when you add the values in the set and if i try to add string value in a uh, list value in the tuple 
so I will declare another uh, set for it and I try to add the list I try to add another dictionary in it so these are the mutable data types so it is giving the error unhashable type list so we cannot add the mutable data types in the set only immutable data types we can add in set so that I want to show it so we are talking about uh, mutability and immutable data types so if you want to check which uh, the data type is the mutable which is immutable you can get the reference of it so uh, for example list is a mutable data type so I will store some values in a list okay so these values I have stored in a list so you can get the reference of it using id function so you can get uh, hexades in hexadecimal form id of l1 so this is the memory address given for l1 suppose i have i will add some values in the l1 so append is the function to add the new value at the end of the list suppose i add 5 value at the end of this list so if you print the value of l1 you will get 1 2 3 4 5 and same way again I will call this id of that l1 so it will give me the same value that is given previously assigned previously to the l1 so means we can there is no separate reference created for l1 list now if you consider the integer value so integer a equals to 10 okay so 10 I have defined now I'll write I'll get the ID of this A in hex format so this is the ID and at the later part I'll assign new value to this A so I'll get the another reference separate reference is created for this variable so you can check that it is 3d d8 and previously it was 3a d8 so separate addresses are assigned to a same variable so variable name is same a i have a, initially i have assigned 10 value and afterwards i have assigned 34 so in this way you can say say that it is a immutable one so separate reference separate address is created for that variable but that is not the case for list and dictionary and set these are the mutable uh, data types where it will not create a separate reference when you update the values when you delete the values or any kind of manipulation operation you perform on it it will not update the address of it so this is all about the uh, data types in the python